Okay, this is video number seven of the seven part series where I go over questions from the Big M from Florida, the best instructional guide that's provided for, by the Florida Department of Education. These are the standards that are covered in these um, problems and let's get into it. The first one, it gives us kind of a long scenario, but all of that is pictured right here. So I will skip that. The distance between the streamers is X feet. So it shows a streamer here and here x feet and the length of the second streamer is y. Um, the angle formed between the second streamer and the floor is theta. Select all the equations that are true to the nearest tenth based on this diagram. So um, we have right triangles here and we're going to be using some trigonometry, specifically focusing on this right triangle because theta is right here. And then from that right triangle, I mean from this theta here, we have opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse right here. And so when I use, when I'm trying to find the trig ratios, that's what I'm gonna be looking for. So using SOHCAHTOA, these ratios are also on your reference sheet if you need them. Um, we're gonna have sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tangent of theta. For sine opposite over hypotenuse, um, I was a little bit thrown off that there wasn't a number here, but then I realized that they actually want you to solve for that using these two sides because you have another right triangle here. So we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem to solve for this length before we find these ratios. So let's see, we have six squared plus, this would be like B squared in our Pythagorean theorem, and then C squared 22.8 squared. We go ahead and solve this. Take the square root of both sides and B comes out to a number that looks like this, 21.996. Again, no instructions here on how to round it, but when I look at the answer choices, there is a clear 22 in a lot of my answer choices. So I know I'm on the right track. And we're going to round this to 22. So this will be 22 in our ratios that we create. So sine of theta opposite of our hypotenuse, 22 over Y, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, so it would be x plus 6 over y, and then tangent here, opposite over adjacent, 22 over x plus 6. So now I'm looking over at the answer choices. It looks like this is a match. The other two signs would not be correct then. Cosine, there's nothing that matches the cosine I came up with. Tangent, 22 over x plus 6, right here. So a and f are my correct answers, and I'm moving on to the next problem. Okay, given the diagram below showing two right triangles, complete the following statements. Um, sine of 33.7 is BC over what? Well, um, of this angle, opposite hypotenuse adjacent, SOHCAHTOA, Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so BC would over, be over BA. And then for this one, opposite and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is DF, opposite would be DE or ED. And then here, because it says that these are right triangles, so 90 degree angle here, we know that the second angle is the same. So because of angle, angle, Similarity, we know that they are similar. Similarity, we know that they are similar, so therefore their parts are proportional. So BC over AC should be proportional to DE over EF. And that's what they're looking for here, DE over EF. Okay, moving on. The lo logo of a local construction company contains an equilateral triangle. The height of the triangle is 10 units. What is the length of the measure of each side of the triangle? Okay, well, um, the height would be make a 90 degree angle. So now we have right triangles. It's equilateral, so we have a 60 degree angle here, 60 here. And then this 60 degree angle would be split evenly. Now we have 30, 60, 90. Um, so based on the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have our shortest side. 2 times our shortest side and short square root of 3. So we can divide this by square root of 3 to get this side. 
and then to get one length measure of each side, to get this, we can multiply by 2. So 2 times 10 over square root of 3, and then we can do this in a calculator, just plug the numbers in, and it comes out to 11.55. Okay, and then next question. This one right here, triangle ABC is shown. Triangle or angle B is a right angle. The length of AB is 1.5 and the length of BC is 3.1. Determine the measure of angles A and C. Okay, so we'll start with one at a time. We'll start with angle A. Just make it a dot or theta or x. You know what, let's just call it A degrees. Okay, we're going to start by using trigonometry, SOHCAHTOA, to find this angle. So based on this angle, we have opposite, adjacent. Um, so we're going to use tangent. So tangent of A degrees is opposite over adjacent, so 3.1 over 1.5. Um, and then the calculator, what you do is you're going to use inverse, so tan to the negative 1. 3.1 over 1.5, and you do that when you're trying to find an angle measure like that. So here I'm going to do 3.1 divided by 1.5, and then second tan, the inverse, to get this, 64.17, or 18 degrees. It says round to the nearest tenth, so we'll do 64.2 degrees. And then it asks for the measure of angle C right here. Well, the three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180, so I can do 180 minus 90 minus 64.2 to find angle C. And that comes out to 25.8 degrees. And then the third part of this question, find the length of AC right here. Okay, the length of AC, there's different ways I could do this. I could use trigonometry if I want to. Um, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, though, since I have a right triangle, 1.5 squared plus 3.1 squared equals c squared 2.25 plus 9.61 and we get 3.4 okay um next page for this one use the following statement to answer the questions a triangle is an equilateral triangle if and only if a triangle has three congruent sides Write the two if-then statements that can be written from the given statement. Write the converse of one of the conditional statements created in part A. In the blank below each statement, identify the statement above as if-then, converse, converse, or neither. Okay, based on the statement, um, a triangle. So if a triangle is equilateral, then it has three congruent sides. Okay, there's my if-then statement from this. So it wants to know which of these are an if-then, or conditional is what I would normally call it, or a converse. So based on what I wrote, this one would be the if-then, and then this one they switch it. So for con conditional, it should be P to Q, and then for converse, it would be Q to P. So based on that, this would be the converse. So here you have P to Q, and then they switch it here. Three congruent sides would be the Q, then the P. So this one is converse. Okay, and the last one of this entire series, Mr. P said the following statements are valid. Select all the statements that are invalid. This threw me off. It wants invalid statements. Triangle is a polygon with three sides. That is valid, so not what we're looking for. We need stuff that's not valid. All circles are similar. That is true, but we're looking for invalid statements. All equilateral triangles are congruent. That is invalid. Um, e well, ang oh, equal angular quadrilaterals, meaning all the angles would be the same. Well, yeah, those aren't congruent. Their sides aren't the same length. All quadrilaterals have four right angles. No, so that is an invalid statement. Um, for example, a trapezoid would have is a quadrilateral that doesn't have four right angles. A trapezoid must have at least one obtuse angle. That is accurate, so that is not the correct answer. So 
that is all. That is the end to our series. Um, and good luck on the test.